with every case of water and donation. This makes me feel like I have a lot more than I need and it makes me feel thankful. Beachwood independent students and teachers. I just can't imagine losing everything and so I wanted to do what I could to help give something back. Just hang in there. Help's coming. Friends and neighbors. All right. Thank you very much. Don't give up hope. Are ready to help Mayfield, Kentucky, struggling with tornado damage. It's a community they've come to know well on the football field. <laughs> Superintendent Mike Stacy says there's a bond between these districts. Anytime you talk to a friend and, and you hear, you hear uh, that kind of emotion in their voice, it kind of spurs you to action. It's part of how they ended up here with a trailer full of donations and more waiting inside. Brad Ratliff runs Lighthouse Transportation. Since 845 has just been a steady stream of cars, just one after another. He graduated from Beechwood. He's supplying trailers to go south. These could have been guys that anybody from Beechwood has played 10 times in the last 30 years. And you start thinking about them, you start thinking about their families. Every person here, haunted by images of destruction, determined this time to be on the same team. We all have their back and we will help them. You got brothers and sisters all over the state and we're trying to get it all together and we'll be there as soon as we can. And even tonight, donations were still coming in into the evening. I'm told anybody can donate to this if they'd like. And a second trailer is going to be here, hopefully, by tomorrow. We're live in Fort Mitchell. Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5.